I am Dr. Ilan Kumaran, an anesthetist, intensivist, and the CEO of Health Hospital. My question number one to Chat GPT is a clinical question. A 40 year old gentleman, Mr. Sharma, presented with upper abdominal pain, fever for the last few days. What would be the potential diagnosis? You'll see what response Chat GPT gives. It looks interesting. Yeah, from a junior doctor's perspective, well, the response is reasonably impressive, but I have a doubt. I am thinking of some other diagnosis. Why can't it be a kidney stone? Now I am going to ask ChatGPT, why can't it be a kidney stone? We will see the response. Now ChatGPT agrees with my diagnosis. It says, yes, it's a possibility. And it's also suggested to assess the patient's symptoms and possibly perform a shoot test. That sounds reasonable. So chat GPT doesn't give perfect diagnosis. It actually gives some information for junior doctor to put their thought process into flow. Now I kind of know that um, this patient has got acute cholesterol cystitis. So I'm asking chat GPT what's the treatment of choice for acute cholesterol cystitis. For the treatment of choice for acute cholecystitis, ChatGPT says it's the surgical removal of gallbladder, that is cholecystitis, that's appropriate. My next question is, how can I perform laparoscopic cholecystitis? I just want to check whether it gives us certain steps. It gives a basic response, it gives us steps of surgery, but we can't perform surgery based on this information. At the same time, if I am a medical student, if I am reading an exam, I should be able to give a response based on this. Doctors see the patients in the post of a reward and I don't detail the summary. So the, my next task is uh, to ask ChatGPT on type post-operative day one course and notes followed by laparoscopic post. Let's see what response gives. I would say the response is pretty impressive because uh, it gives a broader post-operative care management for any doctor to follow. It talks about pain management, vital sense monitoring, nausea and vomiting management, eye fluids, mobility, dietary restriction, issues with side care, and all of the appointments. It is interesting. My next task is type a distress summary for a patient who underwent laparoscopic procedure. It is so perfect. We don't need to do anything. We have to just copy, paste it, change the name of the patient, that's it. We don't need to do anything for this kind of letters. It's a perfect choice for any doctors.